Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's it. I'm done. Today's episode is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon is co-founded by Ray J. They make innovative earbud designs at prices that don't break the bank. The holiday season is in full swing and if you need a gift that everyone needs, Raycons are the way to go at half the price of other premium audio brands. Right now you can knock that list out all at once and get 30% off by shopping Raycon's holiday bundles. I'm gonna take advantage of their gaming bundle to give my brother Operator Drewski, which includes gaming earbuds for mobile or switch play and gaming headphones for PC or console play. Raycon's wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound, useful features, an almost custom comfortable fit, and up to 54 hours of battery life. You can find Raycons in stores now at places like Kohl's and Walmart, but you get an even better deal when you use my link. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash off the ranch and use code earlybf to get 20% off site wide. Or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. There will also be different deals coming throughout the season. Ow! And I'll try to keep the description box updated with different offers. He's hungry. But just so you know, you can always go to buyraycon.com slash off the ranch to get the best deals available on Raycons. Save my soul. Went up downtown. Went up downtown. Went up. The prize for the race tomorrow is this thing. This is a Pontiac Grand Prix. It's got GP on the yeah. on the uh, taillights, yeah. and it's on a blazer frame, and it's done pretty redneck. Yeah. <laughs> There's your body. It's not even straight. Look at it. It's, it's angled. <laughs> That's pretty good. Holden Bros are here. What's up, dudes? What's up? Ready What's to party? Up, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs> So today is the burnout competition. And he's actually got a pretty good burnout box here. So that's where you start. Tip in, start over there. So you'll come flying in here. Then he has a big open spot, much bigger than last time. Last time it was just too tight. No one was getting crazy because everyone's scared of hitting walls in their cars. So everyone was going real slow and it was kind of boring. So he made it much bigger this time. But he put this real long, man, this is tight. It's long and it's, tight area i was like i'm not gonna go in that so my car the brakes are terrible and the steering is terrible right now and the suspension is terrible the one thing we upgraded this time was the gearing in the back the engine's about the same it has a tune on it so maybe a little more horsepower but about the same but we got taller gears in the back so i think it was like 373 before now it's 307 uh, so we should be getting much higher wheel speed which will make for a much better burnout and we won't have to be throttling all at the top because I, you want the wheels to go as fast as possible. So I'm always revving it to the top, which will make your engine burn up faster, which is what we have done. So now I should be able to like rev at like 75% and still get the same wheel speed or go a little higher and get more wheel speed, more smoke. It'd be great. So engine wise, we're good. And so I was like, well, I'm not going to go over there into that box because that's just too tight with my steering, my brakes. I'm probably going to hit a wall or just get stuck and have to reverse and then, then you lose. But I think if I don't go in there, I'm going to lose no matter what. But they're going to want the winner to use this whole pad. So you're going to have to go in here, spin around, go down there, spin around, come over here, blow your tires. <sighs> Very good chance I'll get stuck on a wall. But I got to go for it. I was just worried about our generator being kind of loud. And then Toast comes rolling up and I go, ah, we're not that loud. That thing's loud. Mikey, was the last one where you made money? The, the Nelly Band-Aid? Yeah. So I bet Mikey, he, if he kept a Band-Aid on his face all day like Nelly, I'd give him a hundred bucks and he did. So this time he wanted to make another hundred bucks. So I said, you have to find someone bigger than you, equal to or bigger than your size and wrestle them. A fan, <laughs> uh, not a fan, a patron. You in? Yeah, I'm down, man. Okay. And then Steven and Willie both said they'd throw in a hundred bucks too. So Mikey has to find someone bigger than him, man or woman. <laughs> <laughs> equal equal opportunity and and you don't have to win you just have to say hey will you wrestle me and they have to go 
Sure. And then you wrestle them. I'll work for them. Somebody will wrestle them. Someone will wrestle you for sure. Right. Yeah. I hope you should take somebody out on the line. Yeah. That's like, wait. Hey, you should just ask Cletus. Just go up to Cletus and say, will you wrestle me? He's bigger than me. Yeah, you just sure. tell me. <laughs> I just uh, was looking back here in the old graveyard. Got one of my old cars. This one actually looks pretty good. I don't remember which one this was. Was this Indy? I think this was the car I had at Indy. It's getting pretty rough sitting out here. So they just kind of keep all these beaters just to steal parts off of, basically. But I think this one actually ran at the end of it. But this was my spare. Oh, that was just, you, it's missing the back. It's missing something. What? It's missing something. They've done a little bit of light work back here, it looks like. I'll just ride Oh, you know back. what? They stole this and put it on Cletus's car, neighbor. His burnout car, because he wrecked the back end of it. Actually? They cut this off to section onto his, so. <laughs> Yours was a donor. That's amazing. Yeah, it's this laser just goes, bzzz, cuts it all in half. It's not true. Gates are open. People are starting to come in here now. Everybody's, they're already actually all getting seats over for the burnout competition. So burnout's still like three, two and a half hours away. People are already staking out the best seats in the house. From Yukon. So they're getting really strict about the rules now. They're judging on driver skill, and usually it's like if you hit the wall, the crowd goes wild, and so it's all about if the crowd goes wild. Now, all taps are okay. If you hit the wall, move a barricade, you hit anything hard where it's obviously an accident, you lose points. We'll see what happens. Cletus has started off with toast.
lots of signatures I was doing today was with this Wet Erase Expo marker. So if anyone got my signature and it washes out first time, I'm very sorry. I didn't know. I was handed this, someone gave it to me, and yeah, those signatures aren't gonna last. I love you guys so shout out Heatwave sunglasses, just hooked it up. Party! Hold the hands and go. <laughs> well it's 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 kinda it's crinkling a little bit. Look at spicy spins all dressed up, sweeping out there. He looks good. Does he intimidate you with how good he looks? Yeah. And with all the sweeping skills. Speaking of how good people look, I was super zoomed in right on your mustache. <laughs> Burnouts are in full swing. Right now they're doing the open burnout competition, which is where anybody, I mean you guys can just bring any car you want out here. I think there's a fee, I don't really know, but you can just come burn out in your car here. And then they have the burnout rivals, which is me and all the other YouTube guys doing it. Now they have a pro class as well for it's all the cars with like a thousand horsepower or something. Which I'm hoping someday we will get Ranch Tank in that class. I think a diesel thousand horsepower car would be really cool. We're not there yet, so we're still in Burnout Rivals, but my goal is someday be in pro class with a diesel powered car. Because there are no other diesels in pro class yet. There's like Killa B, there's a few other big ones. Uh, Toast is in pro class. All the big dogs are over there but no diesels yet. Chevelle, I hope he didn't hit himself on a wall. so good, but I don't think he popped anything. Oh, he's back. He just died. He's back. Oh, it's dying. That was really good, though. He actually broke an axle, so yeah, he probably won. That was good. That guy is in first place for sure right now.
car has a 6.0 power stroke just like Ranch Tang. Same engine as Ranch Tang. He doesn't have any black smoke coming out. He needs to turn it up a little bit. He needs more power. Yeah, come on, roll some coal. And he probably has power steering and power brakes, which I do not. <laughs> Wasn't even red hot when it shut off. His turbo didn't even glow. <laughs> no fire? Lame. This guy has a Duramax in that GMC over there. The open class is done. They are about to start burnout rivals. So we are getting ranch tank all figured out. Got the water injection tank filled up. So hopefully we'll keep this thing a little cooler, make it run a little better, not burn itself up so fast. Basically both times we have just burned this engine up. We've done it two times. Both times overheating is what killed it. So I'm gonna try to not keep it pegged. We have taller gears now, which will help that. We've got water injection that should be keeping it a lot cooler and we'll see what we can do wish me luck i'm up next there's been some good burnout so far hey good luck bubba thanks man fucking do it to it buddy
He died. Damn, damn it. He got it going again. Roman's back in it. Get those tires. Oh no. Oh no. He's so He had brand new tires too. There was a lot of rubber to get through. We did get both tires off, and I, I did get a little love tap on a wall right there. Oh, we got Bondo back here. Shoot, dude. I thought this thing was clean unit. That tire's gone. Yeah, all steel. Oh, it's only three-eighths of an inch there. Yeah, just, just a half-inch Bondo. It's all good. Dude, ranch tang with the new gears under it, it was insane. Just like ripping so much speed, and so, it's so slippery back here. We need tighten up suspension because this thing is freaking loosey goosey like wet noodle out there yeah. yeah we need steering brakes suspension and this thing will be unstoppable yeah, i agree 100%. so good engine's good to go yeah Dude, the thing is violent and didn't get red hot didn't overheat there was a red flashing light at one point i didn't care i was like i don't know what that is i don't have time to read it and i just kept going hey good job Dude, you didn't get tires off. But it kept dying on yeah, me. Yeah, I know, dude. It was so close. We're over here cheering for you. Good try, There's good try. So much. Look at this. Yeah, you got you got some coolant. You got a little warm under there. That's the problem right there. Uh, My script garage just had a sick run as well. It looked awesome. I think that's the last time he's gonna do a burnout in that car. We're gonna crank this thing up and see if we got any blow by. For crankcase pressure. So that's a win in my book. I'm definitely not gonna win. The uh, car turned off once. I did get stuck on a wall once. I was in the smoke and I couldn't figure out where I was. So I got stuck, had to hit reverse and the car did turn off. So like, I know I'm not gonna win. We put on a great performance. We popped both tires. The crowd loved it. And uh, we have a running, driving ranch tank at the end of it. Win in my book. I'm on cloud nine right now. All in all, Ooh. great night. Uh, Mikey did not wrestle anyone tonight, hey, but it's not too late. It's, it's not, not too late. late. <laughs> Don't say it's ever too late. Clint is uh, bigger than you, and he's right in front of you. I got the shirt. Still on. Oh, there no. we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ready. All right, it carries over into tomorrow. Like, Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the 2.4 hours of late mullets where Roman and I are winning some 4x4 truck cars. It's going to be amazing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.